Welcome to the Windows Club. If you wish to fix the SYNTP.SYS blue screen error in Windows 10, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video. I'll guide you through the solutions. The first solution is to test your system's memory. So copy the command mentioned here, which is mdsthed.exe. Now press the Windows key and the R button to open the run window. Paste this command and hit enter. This will open the memory diagnostics tool and the second you click on this option, restart now and check for problems, it will initiate the memory scan. Next, you need to reinstall the Synaptics touchpad driver. Now I do not have this driver but I'll show you the location. So press the Windows key and the R button. This will open the run window. Type the command appwiz.cpl and hit enter. This will open the programs and features window and if you scroll to S, you'll find an option called as Synaptics Touchpad Driver. It would be in red. Right click on it, like I'm right clicking on Skype and select uninstall. Once it has uninstalled, perform a Windows update on your computer and that will reinstall the driver. And you can also restart your computer after that. The third solution would be to run the system file checker scan and to run the system file checker scan, search for command prompt in the windows search bar, select run as administrator and this will open the elevated command prompt window, type the command sfc space forward slash scan now, then hit enter and it will initiate an sfc scan. The fourth solution would be to perform a system restore which will restore your computer to an earlier point just in case any third party software caused any damage to the system. This has been explained over a different article and a different video. And the last solution would be to run a check disk scan for which the command is chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r. You have to copy it and paste it in the same elevated command prompt window in which we pasted the sfc scan command but this has to be done after restarting your computer because right now when the sfc scan is in process you will not be able to use this window for anything else isn't this easy and interesting if you have any doubts please go to the original article on the windows club scroll down to the comment section and write your query we will surely answer to it do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.